today let us uh, today topic is about x-ray film film positioning angulation of the cone and common errors during angulation and positioning so let us start with the film so now the film has two surfaces one surface it has white with no like the closing of this envelope so this surface is the exposure surface okay and this is non exposing surface why means inside if we see inside here the lead sheet is will be there so if the radiation has been exposed then this is the receptor okay and it will not cross this lead sheet that's the reason always we have to position our uh, like area of in uh, concern in this positioning and next it has some raised dots so you can see here the raised dot the raised dot should be always positioned occlusally if you are positioning for the lower it should be top occlusally if you are positioning for the maxilla it should be positioned down these are the key points of this film now let us see about the film positioning so in the film positioning if you are looking for the upper front tooth as we have already planned this is upper front tooth this should be our concern radiation positioning and our raised dot should come occlusally so here is our raised dot so it should be faced towards the area and the should be positioned occlusally and this is the positioning if you feel that the crown height is more and root length is more then we can change our film to this from the horizontal to vertical what is advantage is that he, if in this positioning it will covering the three in this positioning it will cover one or two okay my interest is imagine if it is one one then i'll be placing like this okay placing like this and position the uh, about the cone so about the cone i'll tell right away to let us see the positionings okay if you want a diagnostic x-ray then your x-ray tip the border should be 2 mm below the incisal edge this is the ideal positioning for the diagnostic x-ray because in this positioning we are concerned about the crown root both together if you want an endodontic x-ray where you want to see the apex so here our apex is the core to observation then you have to push your x-ray film still inside still inside or equal to your incisal edge then you have to focus what is happening at the same side so the arbitrary of our root is here okay that is coming to the center see if this is the thing and we are positioning our cone in the angulation the apex will come here so the apex position will be coming at the center so in that is the importance of the our endodontic x-ray in endodontics what we want to see where is my uh, working length what is my working length is my obturating tip is at the exactly at the apex or not that is our criteria so our what we want to see that should be center of our x-ray so our desire what we want to see that should be at the center of our x-ray so for endodontic our root should be at the center for diagnostic complete tooth the center of the tooth should be at the center okay that is the main difference between the diagnostic and endodontic for the upper this is the position so uh, which teeth we want to have the x-ray that should place in the center for the canine again the canine roots will be long you can place like this where the incisal uh, like raised dot should be down and this is the position so this is our canine so the canine should be at the center the center of the film is this one so it should be placed like this see this is our canine this is our canine see this is our canine this is our canine and it is at the center of our x-ray film this is the position for the canine if you want to uh, check for the four this is our four and this should be the center okay this is for four if you want to go for five move this like this five so whichever tooth you want it's a criteria of your interest that for six it should be like this the position should change like this and it has to go like this see this is the center of that so it should be placed like this for diagnostic this is the position for endodontic just push inside because we are interested in root not on the crown so it should be like this okay for the positioning of the maxilla same thing for mandible since this is the model it doesn't have that much sulcus in the patient we have the tongue here okay we uh, just ask the patient to move the tongue to the opposite side like this and you can place your film in the sulcus for the lower the raised dot should be above for anterior you have to place like this so in the patient mouth you can't rotate you, can, you have to say like you have to place like this and change the should place like this okay for the center for the canine they should be the center like this for the posterior see it should be just to remember about the occlusal surface for the diagnostic for endodontic it should be equal for endodontic it should be equal for the diagnostic it can be to remember above in that way our apex will come at the center of the film okay now we have done with our positionings now let us see about the angulations imagine this is your x-ray cone tube tube of your x-ray cone imagine this as your tube of your x-ray cone from here the x-rays are getting emitted so once the x-rays are getting emitted from here then this is the receptor okay from here x-rays are emitting and this is the receptor so we have two techniques already we have started the parallel cone technique uh, bisecting angle technique now let us see in the parallel cone technique we have some uh, uh, like instrument where we can hold the film and we have to be having some ring in that we have to engage this okay now let us learn about the bisecting angle technique so in the bisecting angle technique we have already uh, gone with the positioning since anteriors occur this one and it should be 
two mm above the now I'm saying for the diagnostic. Okay. So how should be this the position of the cone? Why they said uh, the angulation of this is 45, 40 to 45. Why they said like that? Because uh, this radiation should be at the center of the tooth and the filling. So if we take center of this two and between it is the center. So our cone should be parallel to that. That is the reason they have given angulation of 40 degree. So what is the position? Imagine if this is the patient's face. This should be our nose, isn't it? So if this is the nose, it should cover the nose at 40 degree angulation. So we have to focus like this, okay? For 40. If the same thing, if you want for uh, canine, so we have to imagine a alatragal line. So all of us know in our prosto during making our CD, we will draw a line from the tip of our nose to the ear. That is called as alatragus line. So our cone should be always because they say that the arbitrary roots will end there. So that is the reason the cone should be always focusing the alatragal line. So on the every patient during X-ray, we can't draw that. It looks very odd to draw on the patient's face. So what we can do, we can imagine. We can imagine that and place. Okay, for the canine, it should be placed like this. It should be center. Okay. And here the angulation is 45. So rotate the angulation 45. All the plus the cone will come like this. Minus your cone will come like this. You should focus now. Okay? Get the focus. For the premolars, it is 20. Change the angulation to 20. On the alatragal line, the premolar region, you have to focus. Again for the posterior 6, it is 10. Uh, change the angulation. See, slowly it was like this. Slowly it has been reduced to 10. Okay? It has been reduced to 10. Now give the angulation. Now let us go with the lower. Lower. Again, this is raised dot should become above position like this. For lower, we should uh, take the guidance base of the mandible. Focus like this. Okay, base of the mandible at the chin. Now uh, then the angulation here it is 20, minus 20. Then for the canine, uh, again 15 to 20. You have to focus. For the premolars, 10. For the posteriors, 5 to 10. We can keep. Just focus it. For the posterior, it's almost like equal. At the base of the mandible, we should focus like this. We have to keep 5 to 10 angulation between 5 to 10 and focus. Then it will get the lower 6s. Okay. Now how we have completed about the angulations. Now let us see the common errors. The common errors during angulation is that elongation and shortening. Uh, how it will get elongated? It's a simple technique. See if I placed it here and my imaginary arbitrary line for the bisecting angle was in middle. Okay. If I am keeping 45, it is focusing on the middle. Just imagine. Okay, if I increase the angulation, then what is happening? It is focusing from the top. Then obviously increase angulation, shortening of the tooth. It is reverse. Increased angulation, should, tooth will become shortened. Decreased angulation, tooth will become elongated. So it is reverse. If the angulation has been increased, see what's happening? It's getting shortening. If the angulation has been reduced, it's becoming elongated. Okay, this is the common error in angulation. Another common error is that uh, not complete like not focusing on the cone cuts. So if you are planning to do this central incisors, you are placing at the center of this. If you are not, you are placing here correctly. But you have to focus the center of your cone. If this is your cone center, the center of the cone should focus the required area. It should, this should be the center. Okay. And my center of the cone in that angulation should be center. It should be like this. Okay. If it is like this, then this area is unexposed. Then you will get the cone cuts. Okay. So the required area, uh, filling should be at the center, the center of the cone should be at the center of the required area. Then only you will not get the cone cut or else you will get the cone cuts. That is uh, uh, another error and another er error is that positioning. Okay, uh, like if you are positioning more, like patient is not opening his or her mouth, then we positioning like this. Then the root will not come obvious now. What is the length of the root? The arbitrary length of the complete tooth will be 25 mm or 20, 21 mm. Then out of this, this much is unexposed. Then how it can cover this part? That's the reason I am saying for canines, just change it. Come like this. And we need the working length is 25. The complete filling has to be placed. So it should be always placed 1 mm or 2 mm above the, the tip of the tooth for diagnostic, for endodontic, push still inside. Okay, that is the positioning of the tooth. So you should not do these errors. Okay, if you are uh, not doing these errors, you will get a definitely 